Welcome back to the last two Reptons of sorry, the last two levels of Repton Four in uh, Repton Infinity. Oh, I've got too many Reptons on my mind. So, starting off here, we led a uh, spirit through the transporter, and you probably saw he went into the area just above him. And we come past the photocopier, but we leave the exit tray blocked off so that um, we uh, don't uh, have anything photocopying itself as it goes past. And we've got to wait for the spirits to line themselves up properly here so they don't come out and confuse each other while they're doing so. And you can see I use the uh, movable gems to actually seal off that area. So we let this uh, spirit out of here. I said he won't photocopy himself because he'll go past that uh, special, uh, well, <laughs> he'll go past the um, photocopy with the block tray. Now I've got a monster here, which I'm going to deal with with this rock there. And block off the fungus so we don't have to deal with that. Now we can arrange our magic blocks to sort a few of those things out. You can see the transporters right at the bottom of these uh, magic walls, so that rock's gone off to wherever that transporter leads. We can grab our key finally, and when we come up here, we see an interesting thing about the eggs. Yep, they don't roll off the gems and they don't roll off anything. This just not in their programming to do so. The uh, programming of the objects could only take up a certain amount of space in the, the memory. And while it was compiling, it needed a bit more memory to do so, so that's why. Uh, so yeah, we're taking these gems out of here, because if the rock goes through the magic walls, it'll actually get rid of anything that's between them. And that rock down goes down into that transporter, clears away for this thing here and then makes all these magic walls turn into the uh, banknotes for us. And a bit more marshmallow pushing here. Looking at uh, another video for this level, I realise this isn't the optimal way to do it, but uh, certainly gets the, the job done. So where's our spirit for that cage? There we go. And obviously we have to use the trick again where to break that egg, it'll drop on our head to do so. And yet we can't get the gems down the bottom of that little place there because uh, we can only do our Repton juggle so far. Just clearing out the bottom area here. And there's not what's well, not anything really you can do with those um, little magic blocks down there. And I'm arranging that boulder in the right way because remember how I said the the ghosts and monsters behave. It's very very handy for this part of uh, this level since you just kind of lead them out through this hole and then you move down. It's always trying to move down to get in line with you before it comes across. And obviously, if you keep moving down, it'll never do so. So it's quite easy to get rid of. And for the second one as well, we uh, kill the ghost and we stand on the boulder to say, I am the champion. So uh, coming up here, we clear a place in front of this photocopier here. And this one here, and there's another one here. There's another photocopy of somewhere else. And there are four spirits on this level, but eight cages. So obviously we have to use the photocopiers to get all the spirits we need. And there's only the four photocopies on the level. And we need to get the uh, diamonds out of there first. I mean, the key out of there first. And when we come through here, we've got to arrange things in the right way 
and do it quickly before a spirit comes around so we're not wasting time. And a weird thing about the eggs here, you can do this to break them. Which is quite useful in this situation since we need to run underneath to let space for this um, spirit to come through so it can open up that one cage for us. So we've only got one cage left here now. Surprisingly, they all those uh, cages got entered that quickly. And now we're dealing with quite a lot of monsters. I'm going to, well, ghosts, I should say. And we can use the same kind of trick. They will always try to get her, um, their vertical position right with you first. That's our last uh, spirit there, which is going to go into the uh, one uh, cage and we want to make sure that we don't have to run through it or past it with the monster in tow otherwise we might daze the spirit because obviously the as i said the spirits can kind of daze each other and also the monsters since they're going to be solid to the spirits are going to be uh the monsters can actually daze the spirits as well. You can see I'm leaving that one uh, monster in the middle of the uh, fungus there and uh, pushing that one across onto that little platform because I don't want to deal with him either. We've still got lots of things to collect, so we pop in the transporter, end up up here, and then there's these magic blocks which we can't join all three of them up to each other. You could obviously get a couple of them out of there. Well, kind of, if you wanted to try and connect up some other things. And then here we uh, leave the egg precariously balanced on the corner there. Obviously it's not precarious because it's not going to roll off at all. A strange decision but it does add a different dynamic to the uh, puzzle that are available. Right, so yeah, we need to push the boulder across, which makes it go through a transporter, which makes it appear above where we transported to, which is good because we pushed the boulder across and got out of the way of it anyway, so it's not much of a threat unless we decided we want to really run back into that uh, place. So we've got another egg to break and another um, ghost to deal with. Yeah. Sometimes the uh, movement of the monsters can get them trapped into things like that. And I finally decide to deal with this monster here. And you can see all that fungus spreading at exactly the same time. And that poor little ghost, look at his eyes going back and forth. He's like, oh, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. You're a ghost, you're already dead. I mean, is there like a, a meta ghost kind of thing? A ghostly ghost? Don't know, it's a bit odd. Anyway, we don't really want that fungus escaping, so we'll just uh, push this down through the magic wall and block off that little area to the bottom there. And then we can use these magic blocks here to get some more gems. I'm kind of wondering, what, am I gonna, what do I have to collect to end the level? And there we go, that's what we have to do. And since it's the last level of Repton 4, we'll just take a wander around and have a look at what we'll be leaving behind. And we'll uh, break the egg, say, come here, Mr. Ghost. Haha, <laughs> I'm not going to give you that pleasure. See you next time in Robbo.